Hello everyone, my name is Sharonda Parker. Welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda Parker. And today we have the pleasure of visiting Flex Health Medical Center. And this is nurse practitioner Aurel Perkins. And she is going to be talking about the importance of breast exams because this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, she's going to show you and I'm going to demonstrate how to do a proper uh, a proper breast exam. And we're gonna talk about, you know, just some facts and some things that you need to know as a woman, because not only do we talk about sex in this group, but sexual health and wellness is important. Yesterday we talked about breast orgasms. Before we can get into the orgasms, we have to make sure that we're dealing with healthy breasts, okay? You know, tell them so, about your um services and what it is that you offer while they're coming in so they can just get an idea okay. of exactly who you are and what services it is that you offer before we get into the breast exam. Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Oriel Perkins. I'm a family nurse practitioner. Um, so basically, a family nurse practitioner is a registered nurse that goes back to school for more education. And now I have the ability to diagnose and treat patients. So nurses usually, you know, take orders from a doctor and we carry out those orders. So now that I'm a nurse practitioner, I can place my own orders and then the rest of the nurse still assists or the LPN or CNA. So that's what the main and easiest difference that I tell people between a nurse and a nurse practitioner. Um, what makes me different is I own my own practice. I love working with women, especially young women. Um, and making sure their whole body is healthy, um, you know, mind, body, and soul, making sure that you're okay. Because I feel like as women, we work hard and we make sure everybody else is okay. And then we don't take care of ourselves. That and is so true. We dropping dead, you know, at a young age because we, we don't go to the doctor. We make sure those kids go and get their shot. Mm -hmm. And then we'll even say with our husbands and men to go get whatever they need to get done. And then we are martyrs and we laid in the bed with the flu and we still get no We're going to take care of ourselves. We're going to heal ourselves. Yes. <laughs> and so I want to make sure you guys, um, you know, just make sure you take care of yourself. So I see everyone from zero. So I see newborn to, you know, death. Basically, that's what I do. I don't deliver babies, just so you know. I do not deliver babies. I refer you out to um, Pamela Lewis. I'll give her a plug. That's my my OB. I love her. Um, so I refer you guys out for OB services. But I can diagnose you. You know, if you're if you want to know if you're pregnant, you can come in and get your pregnancy test, and I can give you your paperwork so that you can get your referral and whatever services you need. I also do your annual wellness exams, and if you need a Pap smear, you can come here. You can get your pap smear done, STD testing, and birth control. We do the pill, the shot, patch. Um, we just do not do IUDs or the implant in your arm. But if you're on regular pills or you um, want to get a shot or just your pap, you can come here and get it done. I do take Medicaid. I do private pay, and I do um, commercial insurances. You can just give us a call. It is on my Facebook page. Um, it's Flex Health Convenient Care. It's my Facebook page. And my page is Oriel Perkins or NP Oriel. So that's Nurse Practitioner Oriel. And I'm sure Sharonda will probably tag me in it. Mm -hmm. and now I do, and I'll just, just for the record, um, I do these things here in my office. I do like those. I do feel like it helps the blood flow there. Um, Hell, I got pregnant. I'll be honest. I got pregnant after getting one. I didn't believe it. And I can't, and honestly, I can't, there's no research done on it, you know, in the scientific community. So I'm speaking to you as a lay person when I'm saying this and not as a nurse practitioner. So don't be like, what well, she said. And just letting y'all know. Okay, so we are going to get into this breast exam. Are you ladies ready? Let me see a round of applause if you're ready. Come on. Well, while we wait, um, I want to tell you guys that Women between the ages of 25 and 40 should have an annual clinic breast examination. So you should have one done by your primary care provider or OB person at least once a year. Um, once you make 40, that's when you get a mammogram done in addition to the clinical breast exam. If you don't have insurance, you can call Women's Hospital. They have the truck that goes around and they do a lot of health fairs. 
And so they will be able to help you get access to a free mammogram. Mm -hmm. um, if you do have, get a call back, just so you know, don't get upset because some women have a lot of dense breast tissue that is picked up on a mammogram. And so then we have to do an ultrasound or some other screening method just to make sure that, hey, this is just, she just, you know, dense tissue and there's nothing wrong. And um, last but not least, all women should consider performing a monthly self breast exam beginning at the age of 20. And then you will become familiar with your breasts and you know what's normal so that when something abnormal comes, you know that that's abnormal. Mm -hmm. And so that you can let your provider know sooner rather than later. Because, of course, early detection gives us the opportunity to treat you early. And we can catch that at a stage one or even a um, carcinoma in situ. And so we can just cut that out and it's gone before, you know, it gets somewhere and it goes to the other uh, organs and tissue or what may have you. It also should be done around the same time every month which is three to five days after your cycle so that, you know, all those hormones are gone and your um, breasts mm -hmm. are not as sensitive. So you don't um, experience any pain and then you can have, you know, a clear mind and a clear base when you're um, testing yourself. And you can write, and for those of you who are on birth control and don't have a cycle, just pick a date. For you. Okay, so with that being said, we are going to get started with this breast exam now. From my understanding, you're supposed to lay back, put a pillow behind you, lift one hand up, mm -hmm. examine with the other hand. But because we want you to be able to see the breast exam being done, I'm sitting up. But naturally, you know, if you were to do it, you need to actually lay back to do it. That would be the proper way to do it. But because this is a live video and we want you to be able to see the different techniques I'm sitting up so that you can do the you can see the techniques, okay? And if you have questions, please send your questions. Okay? Yeah, we can see your questions. We can see your questions, okay? So um first things first, you we're gonna just do this side first. You're gonna take this arm, put it behind your head like okay. this. Because um breast tissue still goes under your armpit and you do have those glands and stuff that can okay. get involved. So you still wanna check there. So it's up to you. But there's three different um patterns that you can use but you make sure you cover the whole breast and you just stick to one. Okay. So the first one would be straight. So you just throw it, let's just say here. And then, but you still, I just use like the pads on my fingers like this. And then you just start here and you mm -hmm. just go straight down. And then we'll cover the whole breast. Now, if she was lying down, of course, she'll be, you know, it'll be up. It'll, lift up. it'll be up yeah. so you can get that part. And then, so once you get here, you just come straight over and you go back and then we're going to just kind of go fast, but you still do it in a circle so that you can feel something. And if you do that way, you can see if it moves or anything. And if you do, you just want to pay attention to the location of where you felt it, how big it is. If you can compare it to a dime, a nickel, a penny, a silver dollar or whatever, um, a eraser, something that you can, when you come into the office or make that call and say, hey, I did my exam, I did fill a lump. It was around the three o'clock area. It was about the size of a quarter. Um, this is my first time filling it. And um, also, you know, talk to your aunt. Let me see if you can turn this way right quick. Because okay. you want to still, and I'm just showing, because you want to still get all up in here, mm -hmm. guys. Like this is very very important okay wow see i wouldn't have even known that you're supposed to get all into the armpit yes, that that was actually all a part of the breast into that, all okay into that. and i'll let your arm take a break okay that's fine. i'll let your arm take a break um just because it's on top of my mind i want you guys if you guys have a history of breast cancer in your family you need to find out at what age they were diagnosed and then you should start being seen 10 years prior to the earliest okay. onset of breast cancer in your family and research has shown that usually uh, because what happens is a lot of times people don't find out until it's much later and it is a normally uh depending on um the strand of breast cancer if it's not a um, invasive species you can kind of get a um slower growth mm -hmm. if you start going 10 years before the earliest onset, that will alert your provider for one, and then we can start testing you and getting your mammograms and stuff early and catch it early. So, like I said, there were three different ways, um, patterns you can use. So, mm -hmm. the first one is just the straight down 
up and down, alternating. Mm-hmm. You can go straight, straight up, up and down. Okay. So the next one, we'll do the circular pattern. So you can start, uh, we just going to pretend this is the right? <laughs> and then you just go around. You just pretty much go around mm-hmm. in a circle. You still use those two fingers. Okay. And you still want to do that, this motion, the circular motion. But then you take that motion and you're just going to go all the way around with the arm lifted up of yes, course but yes. we're just doing this just, just right showing on. you the, t- the yes. techniques and then you're gonna go all the way around all mm-hmm. the way around and then of course catch that armpit and then we are you know you are gonna do both breasts ladies don't okay. forget to do both breasts and both armpits um the third one is the outer to inner and it's kind of um like, like a clock, clock. yeah mm-hmm. a clock maybe yeah Cause it, it it's still round, but it's kind of like a down and a over. It's, yeah, it's and like you over. start here, so like you yeah. just start here and you come down here. It's always like once you reach the breast, you just kind of come. I mean, the nipple, you just come back up to the top. So you just go here and get to the nipple. I made it. Bam. Come how on. many of y'all knew this information? Or how many of y'all this is your first time actually um, getting this type of knowledge about uh, getting a breast exam? I know. We have, this group is open to 18 all the way up. So I know that everybody's in a different area in their life. So that's why it was so important for me to do this uh, breast exam live for you all so that you can actually know what to do and know what to look for. And like she said, paying attention to if there are any knots and if they're moving and the size of them. And what you wanna do is immediately contact your primary care and, you know, you start with them first and then you let them follow up and do a, another exam behind you. Yeah. So, okay. we'll, you know, and think about it. Your provider's probably doing this at least once every day, if not more. Mm-hmm. Um, and so they know what to feel. It's very simple. Um, and I'll even show you guys because it's right here. For the sake of, I mean, um, so if you need a um, mammogram or your breast exam done, like I said, I do take Medicaid. And it is covered um, by Medicaid. And so Women's Hospital does it. And so basically you just come, I give you a form. I put on here that we're just doing a screening mammogram, like I said, cause it's covered. And you take it in, it's a walk-in thing, no questions back, I get the report back. And if there, everything is good, I'll see you guys next year. And if not, then I'll let you guys know what further testing needs to be done, it, be it an ultrasound or a biopsy. Um, I, I wanted to tell you guys um a few ways to lower your risk. Um, and I won't go into detail, but basically limiting alcohol intake, um, not smoking, controlling your weight, being active, and I'm pro breastfeeding. So shout out to breastfeeding mom. Breastfeeding does play a role in cancer prevention prevention and the longer you breastfeed the greater the effect. So I wanted to let you guys know, because I know that our community doesn't promote breastfeeding a lot. And um, we need to, you know, really start promoting that and getting that health benefits, because not only does it benefit your baby, it um, it helps benefit mom. So that's why I wanted to make sure I gave you guys that plug. And if you guys have any questions, um, let us know below or shoot us a DM. That way, if it's enough, we may can do another series to cover it because I'm, um, as she is, I'm very um, much an advocate of women's health and having you guys educated mm-hmm. on your bodies correctly. That's the most important thing. One last thing. Um, while you're doing your breast exam monthly, you should also be doing a vaginal exam. Yes. So while you're doing one, make sure you do the other because, like I said, your doctor's looking at your vagina one time a year, okay? You looking at it every day. Well, I'm not going to say you looking at it every day, but, you know, it's a part of your body, so you have contact. But you have to get you a nice mirror, okay, that you can sit up there and you pull them legs back and you open up and you look all no, up in there. No, DM me y'all coochie pictures. No, we don't need to see the pictures. We just they need will. you to look at it and make sure it's all right with you, okay? Make an appointment. <laughs> it looks abnormal or you feel like something is wrong or does not feel right or you see a knot or sometimes no odors odors what about discoloration discoloration okay um, yellow green gray um based on the color is usually tell us what type of std that you guys have uh-huh. unfortunately um but look i keep it a thousand it is what it is just call me and just it's, like, it's look, life. i'm itching or whatever 
I'm let you come on. And you know, it's non judgmental. I'm not judgmental. Like, and it is completely confidential. Confidential, yes. Completely confidential. And just because you talk to her, you don't have to talk to me. Okay? That's true. That's I have true. to let you know that. That's true. And I'm I don't giving, tell her nothing when you come see me. I'm, I'm giving you no. my nurse practitioner mm-hmm. because she's my nurse practitioner. So that means that whatever you got going on, she's your nurse practitioner. Right. I, you don't have to, just because I gave you the referral to who I go to, you don't have to contact me to get in touch with her. We're going to make sure you have all of and her information. And you don't have to even tell me that when you call, like, hey, I saw you. If you don't want to say that, that you saw me here, mm-hmm. that's fine. Like, I'm just like any other doctor that you go to. It's just that I try to make myself as relatable as possible mm-hmm. because I want you guys to get the message. Let's Can you go over what the throws out the pigs, man? Because a lot of women don't know. Not just, but, oh, yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Um, Yeah, I get a lot of people call um about the odor. And nine times out of ten, you guys have BV, bacterial vaginosis. And that's what causes the fishy odor. And what happens is we want to use Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secret, and every other soap under the sun down there. And your vagina is a self-cleaning organ. Just so you know, you do not have to dish, ladies. And those little phones, little thing, what, uh, North phone, whatever it is called, they have the old uh, flower. Your yeah. coochie don't supposed to smell like flowers. It's not supposed to it's smell like It's not supposed flowers. to smell like that. Um, and my personal regimen, this is what I use. So I'm telling you what I use. Don't be going talking about my doctor's say. I'm talking to you as Oreo. This is what I use. Um, Cause I'm, you know, I'm a high girl, just like y'all got five kids. I use um, Summer's Eve soap because it uh, balances your pH. So that's the only soap. So even though I use dye soap all over my body because it's antibacterial, I only use the Summer's Eve down there. Mm-hmm. You can get the regular one or the sensitive skin one, whatever floats your boat. But I personally use the Summer's Eve. And personal experiences, the like the Walmart brand, don't do as good. I don't know. It, I don't know. Got to get the brand name. You do. For whatever, and I've tried it, you know, the, the different brands. I'm just saying. It seems to create like a mean odor mm-hmm. um, when you use the other brand. I don't know. They probably left something out. But um, I, I recommend the Summer's Eve soap down there because it's, that's what it's designed you know, and, and, and being mindful of the your partners because sometimes yeah. what you have to understand, ladies, is just because they're your only partner, sometimes it does not mean that you're their only partner. And just because you know that they're your only partner and you may not use protection with them. You don't know the relationship they have with some of their other partners. So you don't know if they're using protection. So my advice to you is to constantly, you know, have safe sex um, and, you know, constantly get your checkups. And if you notice something off a little bit, don't let it go on before it turns into like a big huge problem. Yeah, stop trying to self-treat so much. Right. Just come in and... Because your stuff. friend that you're going to talk about, girl, I don't feel... She ain't oh. no doctor. She don't know nothing. Yeah. No for girl, real. She don't know nothing. Oh, my other thing, Um, even if you do have one sexual partner and they're not cheating, um, a lot of times the sperm, um, when you have sex... Acidic. It, 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 yeah, it creates mm-hmm. the acidic environment. So that creates the odor and it causes the irritation. So that's how you have BV, even though... That you know you're, Girl, you're just allergic to his sperm. Shout out, hit his sperm and your body ain't getting along. So they have this. Um, <laughs> I've had a lot of customers. That, it's true though. Yeah, it's true. that that. It, so it, what I tell people to do for that is, um, it's called Refresh Gel. It's uh, at Walmart. It's like about eighteen dollars. Now this is the only time you would do this. So uh, it's a kit and it's a two step kit. It comes with like the cleaning. It looks just like a douche. So you'll use that first, and then the next thing is like a gel, and it's a it, you insert it like a tampon and you squeeze it in there and you leave it over. And you, if you read the directions, you can use it after your cycle, on uh, after sex, or whenever you feel like you starting to odor. So if you think that you have BV or um, the sperm type issue or um, some if condoms or anything irritates you right. and you don't think you have an STD, it's probably like starting to get BB. But if you want to try to catch it before you need to come in, you can try the refresh gel. Yeah. And- also, another thing is, you know, we were talking about safe sex. Make sure you know if you have a latex allergy. If you have a latex allergy, of course, you cannot use latex condoms. Yes. Um, I recommend lambskin condoms. If you have a latex allergy, those are going to be your more natural condoms. However, they do not protect against STDs. They only help with preventing pregnancy. And I want I forgot to tell you guys on your breast exam, before you end your breast exam, you take your nipple and you squeeze it and make sure nothing's coming out. If you have a discharge, 
even if it's if it's clear and bloody or white like milk and you know that you are not pregnant or lactating then you need to give us a call because that is also a sign of um, breast cancer and if you have any dimpling it looks like an orange peel so like her skin is smooth and then let me see under your arm yeah, she don't really have it, but like sometimes you know how people have those big glands. Can you not turn? You know how sometimes people have those Girl, big pores on their face. This chunk in this hip. But you know, <laughs> um, like you know how your mm -hmm. like an orange peel. So if your breast looks like that, mm -hmm. then that's a sign as well. Okay. So my number to make an appointment is two two five six one five eight nine four seven. Mm-hmm. Two two five. Six one five eight nine four seven. I am a solo provider. I don't have a, a group of doctors. It's just me. Um, so if I don't answer, just leave me a message. I'll call you back. Um, you can and find, if you make an appointment, you're able to walk right in. You don't yes. have to just yes. sit in and wait like you at a clinic. Yes. So in other words, if you're appointment at three, you walking into the room at three. Yeah. I told. I said I don't understand why people go sit in the clinic when they could just come walk up in here. Get what they got to get done and then leave on back out. And you can DM me. I won't answer your questions just because we cannot do like personal, personal, like whole diagnosing on Facebook. But if you have a general question, I will answer it. But like if you need an exam exam, I'm going to have to, you know, tell you to come in. But Flex Health CC, Facebook and Instagram, Oreo Perkins, MP Oreo, Sharonda, tag me. The address to the clinic. Oh, okay. The address 8786. Goodwood Boulevard. If you cannot remember that, if you know what Hosanna is, I'm literally next door to Hosanna. I'm in Suite 109. I have a red sign on my door that says Flex Health. I also do these things for you guys, just so you know. So if you're just interested in that, yeah. And I do, like I said, I do everything. If you need to bring, I if you need to bring your kids, they're sick, they need sports physicals. I do that. Um, Momo and Papa, they need to be seen. I can do that. And she will come to their oh, house. Oh, I do go to there. I do do mm -hmm. home visits. See, I'm giving y'all the connect. She do home visits uh, for Momo and Papa. Don't ask me where I've been all your life. I've been hiding. <laughs> I honestly, I've been blessed enough that you know word of mouth has been promoting a lot. So, um, but I am ready to take on new patients. So of course, give me a call. I just had a baby, so I wasn't advertising. But I'm ready to. Get it together. Do you take... Yes, girl, I take Medicaid. Yes, she takes Medicaid. Yes. She yes. takes private pay and she takes commercial insurance. Yes. Um, I think that's okay. That's okay. It. I, yes, They're I take all, to Okay, yeah. I take all the Medicaid. Um, I do take Blue Cross uh, and United oh. Healthcare. Some of the uh, private pay... I mean, not private pay. Commercials, just give me a call and let me know. We'll have to see or get part off. And then sometimes, depending on your copay, it'll probably be cheaper for you just to pay me your cash and not even use your insurance. Mm -hmm. And maybe just use your insurance for like your um, labs. And labs. Yeah, and your stuff medication like and labs, just depending on how your plan is. Y'all got any more questions you got? Well, that's it. If you do have them, you can always send them to um, Aurel Perkins on her Facebook or you can email her but i just want to thank you all for joining sex talk with sharonda i do have a gift for you ah! yes 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 thank you thank you thank, thank you, you for being on the live uh, y'all see my tatas y'all want to send me a dollar for my birthday <laughs> <Cash app Oreo. laughs> y'all be blessed have a wonderful day and thank make sure you know give this information to the people that you love and care about